So a long time ago, the Jewish people lived in Israel or in Jerusalem. And there was a war between Israel and uh, Babylon. Israel lost and most of the Jewish people were taken into captivity into Babylon. One of the people who was taken to Babylon was a man named Nehemiah. He was a good man and a smart man and eventually he became the helper or the cupbearer for the king of Babylon. And he had a good life. I'm sure he was he had money, he had food to eat, and he started to forget his people back in Jerusalem. He forgot about where he had come from. But many years later, as he was working for the king, one day a person from Jerusalem came to Babylon and told Nehemiah the story of what was happening to the Jewish people back in Jerusalem. And he told them that the walls around Jerusalem had been broken down. Life was very hard. In fact, there was a famine in the land. And when Nehemiah heard this, he was convicted. And he started to cry and he wept and he was broken. And he started to confess before God that he had forgotten about his people, that he didn't know that there was this problem was happening. And he decided he wanted to do something. In some ways, you might think that what is happening in Congo or what has been happening in Congo over the last 25 years is maybe a little bit like what was happening in Jerusalem. Life has not been easy for you. You have had wars, you have had conflict, you have had much difficulty. Many people cannot afford to get health care. And it seems sometimes like the government doesn't really care. In some ways, the walls of Congo, the thing that protects it, that keeps its people good, have been broken down. So what did Nehemiah do? He decided to give what he could to fix the problem. He went to the king and he asked the king. He was not afraid to talk to the people in power and to say, this is not right, and you need to help, you need to make change. He brought all the people in Jerusalem together and said that no longer could the poor be treated the way they were being treated. And he rebuilt the walls. I think the lesson or the challenge for us is that Congo will not be rebuilt unless you, the people, decide to rebuild it. You cannot wait for the government to fix the problems that you are facing. It will take ordinary people like Nehemiah to decide to do the right thing and, and do what they can to make a difference. I think that's a little bit what the New Hope Center and the Wellness Clinic is about. And it's my challenge to you to do what you can to make a difference where you are. You don't have to be rich. You don't have to be educated. You just have to take what you have and let God use it.